Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Cyprian Msangi and the video series tutorial is called uh, Laravel VUX Showcase. So in this uh, video tutorials, we'll be talking about uh, VUX as the theme and Laravel as the framework. And uh, I'll be showcasing a software that I have developed using these two these two platforms and uh, it's really nice so as you can see on the screen we have uh, vuexy and uh, i'll put the link of vuexy down in the description so that you can go and check it out and uh, before we continue i'd like you people to subscribe to my youtube channel to share the video to share the series and uh, to click on the notification so that the next time i upload the next video you are going to get it as the first person and we continue like that so back to our main cause so here in vuexy uh, it's a premium version by the way if you like to have it you're going to click this buy button so that you can uh, buy it and you can use it for your own uh, for your own uh, software that you're going to to, dev to develop so back to vuex and uh, you can also have a live demo here so there is the vertical layout vertical dark layout horizontal layout horizontal dark layout collapsed layout semi dark and it's really nice so in this case i'm going to to show you the semi dark uh, which one which i feel like it's very nice for the admin platform so here it is there is the analytics uh, version. Here you can see the, we, we, we have some graphs, some uh, pictorial representation of uh, tables and everything. They have really nice cool feature, features. Sorry. Then there is e-commerce version. We have also some graphs here, some numeric uh, representations of data. We have some pie charts we have a chart they have really nice and cool features in the email yeah you can have your inbox here you can integrate an api email here using this front end version so i'll jump back to my <coughs> sorry i will jump back to my software that i've developed using this vuex and here it is as you can see here, I'm in the admin platform. Let me just go to the dashboard so that you can see how the dashboard looks like. So this system has been developed for the Ministry of Education. And I'll ju I just found it nice that I should uh, create some tutorials to show you what I have done using this theme and how cool it is. So I'll for a start, I'll just explain what this software is all about and uh, what it's supposed to do and the people who i mean the users who are going to use this system so we have mainly four users of this system the first user is the super admin i'll talk about the responsibilities of super admin one of the responsibilities and the main of the super admin is to of course, uh, um, uh, administer or check out the whole system and uh, make sure that everything is in control. Now, first role, the super admin is supposed to approve the institutions whenever they apply to be registered in this system. That is that will be the first, the first job of the super admin. The second job will be. Uh, after he approves the institutions, the institution they are going to post some students here. So he'll be also approving the graduates that the institution admins have posted into this system. Then after he has created those uh, students from those institutions, there are also some functionalities that are, in, that are uh, coming up with after being... Uh, <coughs> sorry after being uh, approved so he will be also uh, responsible for 
for approving the employees or which are going to apply to be in this system the employers i mean not the employees we have the employers which will be registering their companies so before their companies are uh, before the the employers can be able to post any jobs it is be, it will be the role of the super admin to approve their companies and whatever that they'll be doing in this uh, in, in in this system so the super admin has also can also create some communications he can post some communications he can time them out and so many things that he can do with the communications so basically those are the roles of the super admin that is supposed to do in this system so to the institution admins these are admins which are the which are at the institution level so their main core job will be the posting of students into this system they'll be also able to to uh, to send the the students to manage them and uh, all those duties that the institution is involved to do with the student so we also have the employers the employers will be posting jobs here they'll be also posting some communications to this system to the students to the institution mean and what not we also have graduates the graduates their main core here will be searching for jobs they can upload their profile they can change their profile and so many things that they can do in this system so that's all about this system and uh, i like you to continue sharing subscribing and liking this video so that i'll be able to create more and more videos of the same and uh, in this series i'll be using postgres postgres database i'll show you how to integrate uh, postgres and uh, zamp in the same youtube series so you're going to follow up with me i'm going to showcase for now but uh, in future after i i finish sh showcasing maybe i will show you how i integrated all these things all together and how you'll get up running and going but kindly 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 please subscribe to my youtube channel share view and uh, we'll get along well and we'll be going on well so until next time have a good time uh, as you wait for the next video tutorial. Thank you. Thank you.